Hello friends and welcome to my channel Homeopathy World. I am Dr. Samina and today's video is about Harlequin ichthyosis. You can also follow us on Instagram at homeoclinic. Please do like, share or subscribe to our channel and comment if you like the video. Let's get started. So what is a Harlequin? To study harlequin ichthyosis, we have to understand what is a harlequin. Here, the picture of a clown dressed in ragged clothes is a harlequin. Harlequin ichthyosis is a condition which involves skin disorder relating to the way harlequin looks like. What is the history of harlequin ichthyosis? The first case was documented on 5th April 1750 when Reverend Oliver Hart, a cleric from Charleston, South Carolina, documented the first case of harlequin ichthyosis in a baby girl from Charleston, South Carolina. This baby was born to Mrs. Mary Ivan, who died after 48 hours of birth. Harlequin ichthyosis is a severe genetic disorder that affects the skin. The newborn infant is covered with thick plates of skin that crack and split apart. Just like in this picture. Harlequin ichthyosis is also known as Harlequin baby syndrome, ichthyosis congenita, ichthyosis vitalis. These skin abnormalities affect the shape of the eyelids, nose, mouth, ear and limit the movement of arms and legs. Restricted movement of the chest can lead to breathing difficulties and respiratory failure. In this picture, the skin barrier function is affected or disrupted. The skin barrier function, when disrupted, leads to various complications. The skin normally forms a protective barrier between the body and its surrounding environment. The skin abnormalities associated with harlequin ichthyosis disrupts this barrier, making it more difficult for affected infants to control water loss, regulating their body temperature and fighting infections. This disrupted skin barrier can complicate the condition of the infants who are already suffering due to their skin condition. This disrupted skin barrier may cause excessive loss of fluids or excessive loss of water which leads to severe dehydration and then leads to dry skin and dryness of the skin leads to cracking of the skin making it more exposed to the environment. And also disrupted skin barrier leads to exposure to various infection causing agents like virus bacteria, fungi, etc. So friends, if you have come across any condition, any skin condition like ichthyosis, please let us know in the comments box. And also tell us how would you treat this condition and whether you liked our video and whether you want more of these type of videos. So let us go further in the video and discuss the cause of harlequin ichthyosis. Why does it happen to certain families only? So it is because of the mutation in ABCA12 gene which gives instructions for making protein that are necessary for skin cells to develop normally. It plays a key role in transport of fats, lipids to most superficial layer of the skin, epidermis creating an effective skin barrier. 
Now we'll go, we are going to discuss what are the signs and symptoms of harlequinectiosis. How do we identify whether a particular child is suffering from or a particular baby is suffering from harlequin ichthyosis? So primarily we see severe cranial and facial deformities in the baby. That is due to the dryness of the skin. There is pulling back of the skin and the skin loses its flexibility. Next, there is thick fissured armor plate like skin which is also known as hyperkeratosis. Eyelids may become everted which is known as ectropia. Lips are pulled backwards by the dryness of the skin known as eclabium. Fish mouth appearance, mouth breathing, xerostomia and dental decay are common signs and symptoms. Here in this picture you can see how the sketch of the harlequin baby looks like. From this picture the pattern of harlequin skin is visible. As this condition is very rare when the baby dies the harlequin baby is preserved in museums like the Museum Rolick in Amsterdam and Museum Dupitrin in Paris have preserved the Harlequin baby in their museums. Now we'll see what are the complications of Harlequin ichthyosis. As we have gone through the signs and symptoms, we can understand the complication is hyperthermia, which is excessive loss of fluids causing hyperthermia, which leads to dehydration. The next most important complication is recurrent infections. Breathing difficulties which leads to respiratory failure. Now how do we diagnose this condition? This, di um, this condition is diagnosed in vitro or gestational diagnosis is done by chorionic villi sampling or amniocentesis. By these two tests the DNA is tested and the mutation of the gene is detected. The gene ABCA2 mutation is done. How do we manage these cases? Harlequin baby cases, Harlequin infants need to be cared for in the neonatal intensive care units immediately after birth. Keeping skin clean and moist is important. Applying ointment and moisturizing right after bath or shower to keep the skin moist. If the child is school age, Make sure to let the school know about their condition and treatment that they may need throughout the day. What is the outcome of Harlequin ichthyosis baby? Ichthyosis infants rarely survive beyond the first few days of life. However, due to advancements, in technology and neonatal care, the survival rate has improved significantly. There are patients who have survived up to the age of 21 to 24 years. Survivors may continue to suffer from temperature dysregulation, have contractures of digits, arthralgia, failure to thrive, hypothyroidism and short stature. 
Now what is the role of homeopathy in ichthyosis? Homeopathic medicines have always shown the most excellent results in skin complaints. Homeopathy offers the most effective treatment for ichthyosis as well. There are various types of ichthyosis. However, harlequin ichthyosis is a very rare disorder. We may find some limitations as we do not have as many patients for homeopathic treatment. We do not know the range of our homeopathic treatment. Top rated homeopathic remedies or medicines among the wide range of medicines for treating ichthyosis are arsenic iodatum, hydrocotyl asiatica, petroleum, kali sulf, and sepia. Thank you for watching this video. Please do comment on the videos if you have any doubts regarding the explanation in this video. And if you have any queries, please let us know. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for our latest updates. You can follow us on Instagram at homeoclinic. Thank you for watching.